the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, Filipino, Autonomong Rihayan Sa Muslim Mindanao, Arabic, Alkam Althayti Lmselmi Mindna Al Hukam Adh. Al. Aklami Limuslami Mindanao, abbreviated ARMM, is an autonomous region of the Philippines, located in the Mindanao Island Group of the Philippines, that consists of five predominantly Muslim provinces, Basilan except Isabela City, Lanao del Sur, Maguindano, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. It is the only region that has its own government. The region S de facto seat of government is Cotabato City, although this self-governing city is outside its jurisdiction. The ARMM previously included the province of Sharif Kabunshuan until 16 July 2008, when Sharif Kabunshuan ceased to exist as a province after the Supreme Court of the Philippines declared the Muslim Mindanao Autonomy Act 201 which created it, unconstitutional in Sima v. Comelec. On October 7, 2012, President Benigno Aquino III said that the government aimed to have peace in the autonomous region and that it will become known as the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, a compound of Bangsa nation, and Moro. On July 26, 2018, Aquino's successor, President Rodrigo Duterte, signed the Bangsamoro Organic Law Bowl, formerly the Bangsamoro Basic Law or BBL, paving way for the abolition of ARMM, which will be succeeded by the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. Geography the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao ARMM, is situated in mainland Mindanao in the southern Philippines and was created by virtue of the Republic Act No. 6734 which signed into law by President Corazon Aquino on August 1, 1989. The plebiscite was conducted in the proposed area of ARMM on November 17, 1989 in the provinces of Maguindano, Lanao del Sur, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. The region was strengthened and expanded through the ratification of Republic Act No. 9054, amending for the purpose of Republic Act No. 6734, entitled, An Act Providing for the ARMM, as amended in September 2001. The plebiscite paved the way for the inclusion of the province of Basilan and the city of Marawi as part of ARMM. History For the most part of Philippines history, the region and most of Mindanao have been a separate territory, which enabled it to develop its own culture and identity. The region has been the traditional homeland of Muslim Filipinos since the 15th century, even before the arrival of the Spanish, who began to colonize most of the Philippines in 1565. Muslim missionaries arrived in Tawi-Tawi in 1380 and started the colonization of the area and the conversion of the native population to Islam. In 1457, the Sultanate of Sulu was founded, and not long after that, the Sultanates of Maguindano and Buayan were also established. At the time when most of the Philippines was under Spanish rule, these Sultanates maintained their independence and regularly challenged Spanish domination of the Philippines by conducting raids on Spanish coastal towns in the north and repulsing repeated Spanish incursions in their territory. It was not until the last quarter of the 19th century that the Sultanate of Sulu formally recognized Spanish suzerainty, but these areas remained loosely controlled by the Spanish as their sovereignty was limited to military stations and garrisons and pockets of civilian settlements in Zamboanga and Cotabato, until they had to abandon the region as a consequence of their defeat in the Spanish-American War. The Moros had a history of resistance against Spanish, American, and Japanese rule for over 400 years. The violent armed struggle against the Japanese, Filipinos, Spanish, and Americans is considered by current Moro Muslim leaders as part of the four centuries long national liberation movement of the Bangsamoro, Moro nation. The 400 year long resistance against the Japanese, Americans, and Spanish by the Moro Muslims persisted and morphed into their current war for independence against the Philippine state. In 1942, during the early stages of the Pacific War of the Second World War, troops of the Japanese Imperial Forces invaded and overran Mindanao, and the native Moro Muslims waged an insurgency against the Japanese. Three years later, in 1945, combined United States and Philippine Commonwealth Army troops liberated Mindanao, and with the help of local guerrilla units, ultimately defeated the Japanese forces occupying the region. Precursors 
In the 1970s, escalating hostilities between government forces and the Moro National Liberation Front prompted President Ferdinand Marcos to issue a proclamation forming an autonomous region in the southern Philippines. This was, however, turned down by a plebiscite. In 1979, Batas Pambansa No. 20 created a regional autonomous government in the western and central Mindanao regions. Establishment of the ARMM The Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao Region was first created on August 1, 1989 through Republic Act No. 6734 otherwise known as the Organic Act in pursuance with a constitutional mandate to provide for an autonomous area in Muslim Mindanao. A plebiscite was held in the provinces of Basilan, Cotabato, Davao del Sur, Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, Maguindano, Palawan, South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sulu, Tawi Tawi, Zamboanga del Norte, and Zamboanga del Sur, and in the cities of Cotabato, Dapitan, Dipalig, General Santos, Coronadal, Iligan, Marawi, Pagadian, Puerto Princesa, and Zamboanga to determine if their residents wished to be part of the ARMM. Of these areas, only four provinces Lanao del Sur, except Marawi City, Maguindano, Sulu, and Tawi Tawi voted in favor of inclusion in the new autonomous region. The ARMM was officially inaugurated on November 6, 1990, in Cotabato City, which was designated as its provisional capital. Muslim Mindanao Autonomy Act No. 42, enacted on September 22, 1995, sought to permanently fix the seat of regional government at Parang and Maguindano, pending the completion of required buildings and infrastructure. However, the move to Parang was never made. Until the passage of Republic Act No. 9054 in 2001, which directed the ARMM regional government to once again fix a new permanent seat of government in an area within its jurisdiction, Cotabato City remained the de facto seat of ARMM's government, and remains so at present. 2001 Expansion of the ARMM a new law, Republic Act No. 9054, was passed by Congress on February 7, 2001 with a view to expand the territory and powers of the ARMM by amending the original Organic Act R.A. No. 6734 and calling for a plebiscite to ratify the amendments and confirm which other provinces and cities would like to join the region. RA 9054 lapsed into law on March 31, 2001, without the signature of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. A plebiscite was held on August 14 in the provinces of Basilan, Cotabato, Davao del Sur, Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, Maguindano, Palawan, Sarangani, South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sulu, Tawi Tawi, Zamboanga del Norte, Zamboanga del Sur, and Zamboanga Sibugay, and the cities of Cotabato, Dapitan, Dipalig, General Santos, Iligan, Kitapawan, Marawi, Pagadian, Puerto Princesa, Digos, Coronadal, Takarong, and Zamboanga. In the plebiscite, a majority of votes cast in the original four provinces were in favor of the amendments. Outside these areas, only Marawi and the province of Basilan, excluding Isabela City, opted to be included in the ARMM. Creation and disestablishment of Sharif Kabunshuan the ARMM's sixth province, Sharif Kabunshuan, was carved out of Maguindano on October 28, 2006. However, on July 16, 2008 the Supreme Court of the Philippines voided the creation of Sharif Kabunshuan, declaring unconstitutional Section 19 in RA 9054 which granted the ARMM Regional Assembly the power to create provinces and cities. The Supreme Court held that only Congress was empowered to create provinces and cities because the creation of such necessarily included the power to create legislative districts, which explicitly under the Philippine Constitution was within the sole prerogative of Congress to establish. Memorandum of Agreement on Ancestral Domain on July 18, 2008, Hermogenes Esperon, peace advisor to then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, in his talks with Moro Islamic Liberation Front rebels in Malaysia, revealed the planned expansion of the region. 
The deal, negotiated in secret talks with the MILF and subject to approval, would give the ARMM control of an additional 712 villages on the southwest portion of Mindanao, as well as broader political and economic powers. Massive protests, however, greeted the move of the Philippine government and MILF panels in signing a memorandum of agreement on ancestral domain as a majority of the local government units where these barangays are connected have already opted not to join the ARMM in two instances, 1989 and 2001. On August 4, 2008, after local officials from Cotabato asked the Supreme Court to block the signing of the agreement between the Philippine government and MILF, the court issued a temporary restraining order against the signing of the Memorandum of Agreement on Ancestral Domain MOA AD, between the Philippine government and the MILF rebels in Malaysia. Several lawmakers had filed petitions with the Supreme Court to stop the Philippine government from concluding the MOA AD due to lack of transparency and for MILF's failure to cut ties with the Al-Qaeda-linked terrorist network Jamaa Islamia, which aims to establish a pan-Islamic state in Southeast Asia using MILF camps in southwestern Mindanao as training grounds and staging points for attacks. On October 14, 2008, the Supreme Court of the Philippines, by a vote of 8 to 7, declared, contrary to law and the Constitution, the ancestral domain aspect MOA AD, of the Tripoli Agreement on Peace of 2001 between the Philippine government and the MILF. The 89-page decision, written by Associate Justice Conchita Carpio Morales ruled, in sum, the presidential advisor on the peace process committed grave abuse of discretion when he failed to carry out the pertinent consultation process, as mandated by EO No. 3, RAW 7160, and RAW 8371. The furtive process by which the MOA AD was designed and crafted runs contrary to and in excess of the legal authority, and amounts to a whimsical, capricious, oppressive, arbitrary and despotic exercise thereof. It illustrates a gross evasion of positive duty and a virtual refusal to perform the duty enjoined. Bang Samoros State Due to the challenges in establishing the Bangsamoro entity in the previous administrations, then-Mayor Rodrigo Duterte of Davao City announced his intent to establish a federal form of government which would replace the unitary form of government in his campaign speeches for the 2016 Philippine presidential election, which he subsequently won. In his plan, ARMM, along with the areas that voted to be included in ARMM in 2001, plus Isabela City and Cotabato City, will become part of a federal state. Aquilino Pimentel Jr., a deterred ally and advocate for federalism, said in an interview that Isabela City, Basilan, Lamitan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi may become a single federal state, while Lanao del Sur, Marawi, Cotabato City, and Maguindano may become a single federal state as well because the Muslims of the Sulu archipelago have a different heritage from the Muslims in mainland Mindanao. Bongsa Sug and Bongsa Moro in 2018, a unification gathering of all the sultans of the Sulu Archipelago and representatives from all ethnic communities in the Sulu Archipelago commenced in Zamboanga City, declaring themselves as the Bongsa Sug peoples and separating them from the Bongsa Moro peoples of mainland central Mindanao. They cited the complete difference in cultures and customary ways of life as the primary reason for their separation from the Muslims of mainland central Mindanao. They also called the government to establish a separate Philippine state, called Bongsa Sug, from mainland Bongsa Moro or to incorporate the Sulu archipelago to whatever state is formed in the Zamboanga Peninsula, if ever federalism in the Philippines is approved in the coming years. Demographics Administrative divisions the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao consists of two component cities, 116 municipalities, and 2,490 barangays. The cities of Isabela and Cotabato are not under the administrative jurisdiction of the ARMM. Government ARMM organizational structure Executive the region is headed by a regional governor. The regional governor and regional vice governor are elected directly like regular local executives. Regional ordinances are created by the regional assembly, composed of assemblymen, also elected by direct vote. Regional elections are usually held one year after general elections, national and local, depending on legislation from Congress. 
Regional officials have a fixed term of three years, which can be extended by an act of Congress. The regional governor is the chief executive of the regional government, and is assisted by a cabinet not exceeding ten members. He appoints the members of the cabinet, subject to confirmation by the regional legislative assembly. He has control of all the regional executive commissions, agencies, boards, bureaus, and offices. Executive Council The Executive Council advises the regional governor on matters of governance of the autonomous region. It is composed of the regional governor, one regional vice governor, and three deputy regional governors, each representing the Christians, the Muslims, and the indigenous cultural communities. The regional governor and regional vice governor have a three year term, maximum of three terms. Deputies' terms are coterminous with the term of the regional governor who appointed them. Legislative The ARMM has a unicameral regional legislative assembly headed by a speaker. It is composed of three members for every congressional district. The current membership is 24, where six are from Lanao del Sur including Marawi City, six from Maguindano, six from Sulu, three from Basilan, and three from Tawi Tawi. The Regional Legislative Assembly is the legislative branch of the ARMM government. The regular members, three members, district, and sectoral representatives, have three-year terms, maximum of three consecutive terms. It exercises legislative power in the autonomous region, except on the following matters, foreign affairs, national defense and security, postal service, coinage and fiscal and monetary policies, administration of justice, quarantine, customs and tariff, citizenship, naturalization, immigration and deportation, general auditing, national elections, maritime, land, and air transportation, communications, patents, trademarks, trade names, and copyrights, foreign trade, and may legislate on matters covered by the Sharia, the law governing Muslims. ARMM Powers and Basic Principles RA 9054 provides that ARMM shall remain an integral and inseparable part of the national territory of the Republic. The President exercises general supervision over the regional governor. The regional government has the power to create its own sources of revenues and to levy taxes, fees, and charges, subject to constitutional provisions and the provisions of RA 9054. The Sharia applies only to Muslims, its applications are limited by pertinent constitutional provisions, prohibition against cruel and unusual punishment, 1. Provincial Governors Basilan Governor Hajiman Salomon, Liberal. Lanao del Sur. Governor by Sir Raya Alanto Adiang, Liberal. Maguindano. Governor Esmail Mangudadatu, PDP Laban. Sulu. Governor Abdusakor Tantu, PDP Laban. Tawi Tawi. Governor Rashidan Matba, NUP. ARMM Voter Registration On June 16, 2012, the registration of 1,778,817 voters of the municipalities, cities in the ARMM was voided by a joint resolution of both Houses of Congress and approved by President Benigno Aquino III. The joint resolution mentioned the presence of hundreds of thousands of illegal and fictitious registrants in the ARMM which needs to be deleted. Economy GRDP and GVA in Agriculture 2015 GRDP Gross Regional Domestic Producta Gross value added in agriculture, hunting, forestry and fishing in 2015, the region S economic performance declined by 0.4%. It contributed 0.7% to the country's gross domestic product. Agriculture, hunting, forestry and fishing sector had 1.5% contraction and it shared 58.2% in the regional economy. GRDP share by industrial origin Agriculture, hunting, forestry and fishing 58.2% 
Service 36.2% Industry 5.6% Production Production and Area 2015 Source, countrystat.gov.The region's production of Pele at 488,215 metric tons and corn at 673,036 metric tons contracted by 12.37% and 3.80%, respectively. Area harvested to Pele decreased by 10.61%. Corn area expanded by 1.69%. Agricultural output in ARMM declined by 1.77% in 2015. This was contributed by the production decreases in all subsectors except fisheries. The crops subsector which shared 69.79% in agricultural production posted 3.22% reduction. The fisheries subsector shared 24.30%. Its production grew by 2.57%. Top Agricultural Commodities 2015 Cassava, Coconut, Corn, Pele and Seaweed were the top five commodities produced in the region. These commodities contributed 64.87% to the region's agricultural output. ARMM ranked first in the production of cassava and seaweed. Employment Total employment CY2015 equals 1,259,000 persons. Agricultural employment equals 874,000 persons. By sex, male equals 676,000 persons. Female equals 198,000 persons. Daily agricultural wage rate by sex 2015 Employed persons in the agriculture sector comprised 69.4% of the region's total employment. Majority of the agricultural workers at 77.35% were males. Cultural heritage the people of the Bangsamoro region, including Muslims and non-Muslims, have a culture that revolves around Kulintang music, a specific type of gong music found among both Muslim and non-Muslim groups of the southern Philippines. Each ethnic group in ARMM also has their own distinct architectures, intangible heritage, and craft arts. A fine example of a distinct architectural style in the region is the Royal Sulu architecture which was used to make the Daru Jambangan Palace of Flowers in Mainbing, Sulu. The palace was destroyed during the American period due to a typhoon in 1932, and was never rebuilt. It used to be the largest royal palace built in the Philippines. A campaign to faithfully re-establish it in Mainbing Town has been ongoing since 1933. A very small replica of the palace was made in a nearby town in the 2010s, but it was noted that the replica does not mean that the campaign to reconstruct the palace in Mainbing has stopped as the replica does not manifest the true essence of a Sulu royal palace. In 2013, Mainbing was officially designated as the royal capital of the Sultanate of Sulu by the remaining members of the Sulu royal family. Comparison see also Moro people Bangsamoro peace process with the Bangsamoro in the Philippines Islam in the Philippines Consortium of Bangsamoro Civil Society Federalism in the Philippines Sultanate of Sulu Sultanate of Maguindano Confederation of Sultanates in Lanao References External links Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, Official Website Bureau of Public Information, ARMM, Latest News and Events in ARMM